morning, guys. Let's start. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, and welcome to the family. I swear, skin tint's been just coming out like hotcakes last month. And we have another one. The new YSL, like NU, skincare makeup hybrid skin tint, bare look skin tint, released at Sephora, I don't know, a couple of days ago. And I picked it up. It's only available online from what I saw. It looks like this. And I wanted to try it out to show you guys how it works out on oily skin. You guys know we have oily skin and I feel like a lot of my oily skin peeps are not really interested in skin tints because they're very lightweight. They're very like mostly a thin formula. Our oil just eat everything up. So let's see how it works out, you know? What we're gonna do is prime first. I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Primer. I really like this primer because it kind of like locks in foundation. It's like a long lasting, but it really just makes the foundation like stick onto the skin. So we're just gonna add it all over. You guys, I'm having major eyeliner issues. I had to redo it three times. So eyeliner, she's not being my friend today, but it's okay. We weren't giving up, okay? <laughs> For the usual, with primer, you want to let it sit on the skin and really absorb. I usually wait about three minutes, so I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did do my skincare. I always moisturize my skin and also add sunscreen. I currently love, love the Kula sunscreen. It's been my go-to and it works out. Although we have oily skin, we still need to moisturize and we still need to put sunscreen. We'll look a little bit greasier like I look right now, but it's okay. Just because we have oily skin, it doesn't mean that it's moisturized, nourished skin. This bottle looks tiny, but it's actually one ounce. You always wanna shake up skin tints, foundation, so all the ingredients are mixed up. All right, let's see, this is $38. It's pretty pricey. So let's see, squeezy tube. Okay, it has a thicker texture. I got this shade 13 because it was one of the few shades that has a neutral undertone. I noticed that a lot of these run very, very warm. I have a neutral undertone. If I can't find like a neutral, I may go to like the rosy pink side, but not the warm side because I will look like a Oompa Loompa in two seconds, which I feel like I'm gonna look today. Got Oompa Loompa vibes for sure. Oh wow, okay. It's um very lightweight, but pigmented. It's reminding me of something. I can't think of it. It's very lightweight. Ooh, it's perfumey too. Very, like I could smell it now. It's like I'm very sensitive to scented products. I literally cannot wear perfume. Wow, wow. Okay, I'm gonna get my sponge get whatever remains on my hand. Add it to the sponge. This will allow the sponge to really blend out nicely. Could literally smell the perfume on this, in this. I kind of knew this shade wasn't gonna work because it did look a little bit on the deeper side, but I go by undertone. The undertone will really help a foundation warm up to your skin. A nice glow, very, very lightweight, like, I may go as far as say it kind of blends out to nothing, but let's see. Let's see how, let's just apply this side. I didn't give you all the info about the product. The new YSL New Bear Look Tint Skin Tint Foundation. Retails for $38, comes in 20 shades. I have here the shade New 13. This is a lightweight skin tint with hyaluronic acid and buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh dewy complexion. The coverage is light, the finish is radiant. The highlighted ingredient is hyaluronic acid that visibly pumps and moisturizes skin, glycerin that traps moisture and hydrates skin, and mallow that visibly brightens the skin. And it comes in a one ounce bottle, which is the average size. Okay, besides my Oompa Loompa look, I think it's okay. It's not wowing me. Very much on the warm side when it's supposed to be a neutral undertone shade. So, oh. What I'm gonna do is let it dry down for a little bit, maybe like a minute, and then we're gonna go with a second layer to see if we can get a little more coverage. The coverage is nice. This is what a skin tint should look like. You know, but I know we like coverage here. So today we're gonna do it more of a fuller coverage and then tomorrow we're gonna do a lighter coverage. You guys know I like to give you options, so I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add to the perimeter of the face. Try not to really glob product right here in the middle because that's where I have my pores. That's where the skin really warms up and kind of could look a hot mess at the end of the day if you have too much product there. And then the sponge will always shear product out. 
which is why we're building it up today with the sponge. And I always avoid product on my under eyes because I always color correct and I use concealer. So the less product in the under eye area, the better, the less creasy it's gonna look, the less cakey. So I will say the finish is nice. It gives you a nice glow. It does have hyaluronic acid. This is, oh, I really look orange here, but it's okay. This is how it looks with the lights turned off so you guys can see. You see, you can still see my little freckles right there. So the coverage is very, very lightweight. I don't think it's too buildable. I don't know. I don't know about this. So yeah, let me tell you the time. So it's currently eight in the morning. Hey guys, I'm back. I feel like I look like a straight carrot, but we need to fix that. Oh, I got a lot of powder. Okay, we're gonna go in with this Too Faced setting powder. We're gonna even it out. And this powder is a little bit on the lighter side, so it will lighten up this orangeness we have going on. So let's just tap it in. You see, it's neutralizing it a lot. I always, always try to keep my skin tint foundation reviews as simple as possible. So you guys can really see how it works out on like normal skin, well, oily skin without adding like the bells and whistles, like foundation powder, cream contour, you know, all that jazz. Looks better, it looks better. Let's just get rid of any excess powder. So let's look at the skin nicely set. And it's very natural. It's definitely a very natural product, lightweight. It is very, very scented. So keep that in mind. But you know what? With the powder, it looks a lot better. I don't know, like the powder just neutralizes it. Sometimes when something's not your shade, you know, you can't really look past it. Which is why like I do two day wear tests so you guys can really, you know, get to know the product with me. I mean, we have very differences from my hairline and my face, but it's okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since we are looking a little orange, I'm gonna just put very little bronzer and blush, finish up the face, and then I'll be back. back the skin looks nice of course i feel like with makeup everything's workable you can work it out the skin looks very radiant healthy i will say that but let's let's take a closer look and see you know my bronzer you know she'd be tripping it looks nice right it looks healthy it looks very your skin but better i don't i didn't want to say that but so yeah, overall, I think it looks good. I think it's doing the job. Let's see how it wears because you guys know we're gonna be here all day long. One thing I always like to see is the pore area. My pores are not accentuated or anything. So that's very important because with oily skin, we do tend to have bigger pores. So that's a big deal when it comes to reviewing a foundation is if that foundation or skin tint is gonna accentuate this area. I don't mind if you can see my pores. I mean, we all have pores, they're never gonna go away. But if they're looking bigger, like if that's a problem, I won't wear makeup in that case, you know what I mean? I don't wanna like it as much as I kinda low-key do. So yeah, let's jump in front of the window. Okay, you guys, so I was taking my thumbnail pictures and the skin was looking so good. <laughs> so yeah, I washed my brushes right there. It looks nice, huh? Like, I curled my eyelashes too. I don't look like a carrot or a Oompa Loompa. It's just looking very radiant. Damn. Let me know, what do you think? For $38. Okay, ciao. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is 9 p.m. Once again, my hair didn't make it. It's back up in a bun. But before we get started, I do want to show you guys how the skin was looking at around 4.45. 5 p.m. in front of the window the skin was looking very nice like surprisingly nice it looks very blurred i don't know i just love the natural radiance that skin tint gives the skin and here we are now oh hold on i need chapstick oh my lips looking dry skin looks good hold on let me show you guys here it looks very similar to how we started the only thing is the shade. I feel like I was looking super orange all day and I was outside today and I could just see the difference between my neck and my skin. 
and my face i mean so for 38 dollars we need this to match exactly but other than the shade that we did talk about earlier today i really like it it looks good the skin looks very naturally radiant i don't look oily we don't look gastadas or anything wait let's look closely the only thing a little bit of my nose is off because i did just have a hot dog and some of my mouth is off because i did literally wipe it off i completely forgot i was doing a wear test it's doing what it promises to do giving you a very nice natural radiant skin and glow this is it for day numero uno i'll see you tomorrow morning bye good morning guys so let's start day numero dos so my skin is prepped i already moisturized put sunscreen on maybe about 15 minutes ago i was thinking yesterday because we were looking very oompa loompa ish i remember that i do have this color pigment from la girl the blue one will cool the warmness down of the foundation what i really like about this is that it does not change the texture of the foundation so blue is considered cool and because this is warm we're essentially going to make a neutral shade so what i'm going to do is get like this amount then we're going to get some of the blue pigment maybe at this much and we're going to mix it up i need a little more I like the pigment it doesn't move so it does have a good texture to it oh here we go here we go here we go let's just mix it so we don't really look blue all right yeah and to show you like a difference let's put a little bit of so you see that little line right there versus here it's a bit cooler it's not you know drastic the change where you're gonna like full-on get a whole different shade but it's enough to see the difference and loving is applying the foundation this way getting a paddle skin tint you know what i mean and we're gonna oh you see that oh yeah this is way better see, this thing works i'll link it down below it's like i think eight bucks and this is a lot because all you need to use is a little bit they come in four shades i believe foundation's too dark they have a white one to lighten it if it's too warm and you want it to cool it i believe they have a red one and an orange one i think this little thing comes through especially like yesterday i felt like i couldn't give you a solid review because i kept looking at the orangeness of the foundation in order for me to really like get a good review i needed to at least match somewhat of course this skin tint costs way too much to be adding any more to the cart as we say because this should be our shade but because we don't have the shade right now you know we're mickey mousing a little but i'll mickey mouse any day for you so you guys can see like the real deal and look it's like legit our color now i was looking at sephora's website and i could probably go with the shade 10 and they're only available online at the moment then we're gonna get our brush and just stipple it on we're not using primer today just to see how the skin tint works on bare skin i feel like this skin tint is actually working a lot better on bare skin i could smell the perfumey scent today it looks a lot a lot better it looks a lot cooler you still see the warm in it but let me show you let's turn off the lights it does look really nice on the skin huh is this not blended there we go today it's a little bit better because we did sort of customize it i find that skin tints like this that have good texture you guys saw it didn't slide down but go on the skin in a very very sheer manner primer just doesn't work as well as the skin tint going on bare skin i feel like on bare skin it just glides so nicely and it sits on the skin pretty well and it's probably because the texture is just that sheer like it's sheer sheer it's not like a medium to buildable i feel like it's really medium mm, that's it oh it is currently 9 18 a.m let me just put some concealer on i just realized i did not comb my hair but we'll get there eventually so under eyes are nice and concealed let's set the face with this milani make it last setting powder in pressed form of course we are going to use our powder puff get a good amount even it out like we did yesterday and we're just gonna start working it in and tapping it in locking this bad boy down i forgot how nice it makes the skin look dang okay i just feel like the color i mean 
it should it makes such a huge difference because when you wear makeup you want to feel good you want to feel put together you want to feel a certain type of way when you look not like yourself and you look orange you're kind of like you know it kind of just like it, it doesn't get the vibe we're not we're not vibing with makeup you know okay here we go looks so much better yeah i think today it's better because the no primer I don't know, I just feel like it kind of attaches to the skin a lot better. Like I told you guys, it's nine. Let me finish up the face and I'll be back. Also comb my hair. Hair combed and everything. So look, I have these bobby pins because bobby pins really hold hair together, especially when it's like a little bit. But I hate how this looks. Do you guys know of any like better clips that really just clip onto the hair? Let me know. I really like how the skin looks. Like I liked it yesterday, but... I think I like it today. It just, I don't know, it's giving me better vibes. It just looks better today. Also because, you know, we adjusted the shade a little bit. So I feel like it just, this is how the shade should look and we can get like a better idea on how it's gonna work out. I mean, we'll see, we also applied it differently. I always curl my lashes after like the mascara is completely dried down but it takes some time to for it to dry so yeah fam what do you think for day two how the skin looks let me know but yeah let's just jump in front of the window so you can see the real deal guys here we are at the window i actually changed my clip you see i put some of these so it looks a little bit better we don't have the pokies but okay look at the skin in daylight get these baby hairs off it looks good huh color looks good it's just adhering to the skin very well without primer. I just love how we layered it on. I feel like you can see a difference on the skin. Let me know what you think. But yeah, see you later, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is at nine o'clock. We've had the skin tint on for 12 hours. Before we get started, per the usual, I do wanna show you how the skin was looking in daylight. At around five o'clock, this was halfway through the wear test and the skin was looking very, very nice. Radiant, very glowy, very similar how it was yesterday. I just feel like today was just a tad bit better. And here we are 12 hours later. You know what I was noticing? My blush and bronzer are just so well put together right now like it's not patchy or anything so i'm like that a lot of times throughout the day things just start to fade away but the skin it looks glowy of course we do have oily skin but we don't look at us at all we look pretty well put together everything's like still there nothing's rubbed off nothing's smearing so overall i do like this product it just makes the skin look very nice very radiant very soft and supple the only thing like we've been talking all day, well, both days is the shades. They don't have the greatest shade ranges and they run very, very warm. So if you're a neutral undertone or even a cool undertone, these shades probably won't work out unless you finagle, but also it's almost $40. We don't need to finagle anything at this point. Do I like the product? Yes, I think it worked out well. The skin looked very, very nice. But do I think it's special? Would I buy it again? No, I would not. But I'm sure I could find a dupe. I'm gonna check and see if I can find a dupe for this one because I feel like there is one. If I do find a dupe, I'll do a dupe video. I did wear my mask both days. I did get a little bit of transfer. It wasn't that much to where it would make things patchy as you can see. This is it guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!